Well, hello, happy holidays. I hope that whenever this video finds you, that you are cozy and warm. I am definitely dry at least. It is raining outside, <laughs> if you really wanted to know. I hope you're doing really well. If you are new here, hi, my name is Alyssa. It's nice to meet you. I hope you stick around and subscribe. If you are not new here, it's really good to plan with you again. I'm very excited. So we are planning for Christmas week and I'm so happy. <laughs> um, it's definitely been a week for me, but just seeing this kit again and looking at it as I get ready to lay it down, just, it makes me so happy. It's definitely been a challenging week, but that is okay because it is Christmas Eve today. And I'm hoping that when this video goes up, it is still Christmas Eve. The plan is to get it on today when I record it, <laughs> but we'll see. So, um, my plans have changed quite a, not quite a bit, just a little bit since I've laid this down, but I will go through my week with you. But yeah, it's Christmas Eve and it's definitely a very different Christmas Eve. Um, I think I felt it the most the last couple days. I don't know if I was just ignoring it or what was going on, but I have definitely felt that lockdown Christmas feeling. Um, we here in Ontario are in our entire province is now in a lockdown. Um, it looks similar to March, except that all retail stores are curbside only, not even storefront, but curbside. So it's a lot of running out, um, for someone who works in retail, but it just, so it doesn't quite change for me at least, um, uh, except I'm no longer kind of handing off at my store door. I'm running outside. So it just means I'm going to be a little bit colder, which is okay. But you know, you do what you have to do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my last video. So many of you guys had commented on my Instagram or in my DMs on my Instagram saying that you love the questions and you were enjoying it. So I'm really happy to hear. And I hope that you got to kind of look, reflect and look back at your past Christmases and maybe what next year is going to look like, because hopefully it is different than this year. So laying down my sticker goodies, kind of my base. Um, by the way, this kit, it's from Letters to Apollo. It is called Wishes. It is in gold foil and it is probably, I don't want to say my first Letters to Apollo kit, but my first in a long time. Um, I think I did one, I want to say over a year ago. And now I've got this one. I've got some more coming because I've got another one for winter. So you'll see another one in a couple weeks, which is very exciting. Um, just laying down my days. Again, I really like this kit. It was kind of a toss up because uh, all of my Christmas kits, this month have been Christmas themed and very Christmassy. I really wanted a warmer Christmas kit. I love the traditional colors, but um, I wanted something that was a little bit more warmer and just like bakey and just, I needed that warmth <laughs> this week because that is what Christmas is to me. It's warmth and it's family and it's a little different and colder this year. So um, I was hoping that this kit would reflect pretty much what I'm hoping for. Uh, so yeah, our plans today for Christmas Eve is my family, and in terms of my family, it is just people who I have in my household. So my brother lives just up the street, and he spends pretty much almost every day here, if not like every weekend here, um, him and his girlfriend, and then my brother is coming home from his girlfriend's place um, to spend Christmas with us, and Nathan lives with us. So that's it. That's kind of our Christmas, and just with my parents who you know I'm with right now, so yeah, so it's a very, very quiet Christmas. Um, we did our like little gift drop-offs throughout the week. Um, mostly did it on Wednesday, so yesterday. Um, and that's been kind of it. It's been pretty chill. We are going to see some family who we've kept in our bubble. So we have my cousins, who are just a few of them, who I've seen throughout the last couple weeks, kind of in and out. We just kind of kept that going. Everyone is working from home, but it's more so kind of like a stop by, a little wave, some hot cocoa and kind of going on our way. So we have a little bit of that, but mostly just us. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I'm not really exposed to anyone, so it's kind of nice because the only exposure I get is my staff members and there's only four of us in total right now. So it's been kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, so that is our Christmas. It's quiet and a little different, but you know what? You kind of take it as it goes and hope that next year is different. Yeah. So pop down my sidebar, a little different, same format, but a little bit more kind of structured this week. Um, I didn't pull too, too many kind of things from my book. I felt like 
what I had in my planner and then what I have here was just enough for the week. And yeah, so the way my week kind of worked is Monday I worked, I had a work day. And of course I'm gonna pop down my Christmas countdown from Letters to Apollo. We are four days of away from Christmas on the Monday, which is kind of, which I remember putting this down to like, oh my God, four days. And now it's like, oh my God, Christmas is tomorrow. <laughs> so that's, yeah. Um, and then just kind of popping these in and down. I, instead of putting it down on the uh, washi, I have to kind of just do it up on here. I filmed this on Tuesday. Um, not one Monday. I filmed it on Tuesday because I was working on Monday. And I actually had a dinner with Yana that evening, who, those of you who don't know, is one of my planner besties. And we see each other every week for something just to kind of like get away <laughs> and just like see each other or like grab dinner or grab a coffee or she'll be at my house or vice versa. So she came over on Tuesday and I filmed this in the morning and I'm definitely going to be honest, it was a hard morning for me a lot was happening. Um, <clears throat> transitions between semesters have been hard. I've noticed, I guess, because I'm online and I had to wait a lot longer for my grades <laughs> this time. Um, they're all came in and I'm very, very pleased to say I got straight A's, which is so exciting for me. Um, I kind of made it a very hard goal for this entire program to keep all my marks in the A's at least. And I so far have done it, which I'm very happy about. I worked very hard um, and I wanted to keep it high because I got, again, my early acceptance to finish off my degree and um, master's and this just kind of solidifies that for me. So it was a very nerve wracking day because my marks should have been up and only some of them were up and I think my anxiety, because uh, I do have um, anxiety, it's pretty situational, but I do get some pretty bad anxiety kind of hits here and there. Um, it was a very hard day <laughs> for me and I, I just kind of needed to sit down and plan and I figured I would plan while I, you know, recorded. So I kind of did both and it, I can definitely say, I know a lot of you guys have messaged me because I've mentioned it a few times that, um, my planner is definitely an anxiety aid for me and one that always for the most part works and I, it just, it really helps. And it's kind of interesting because I noticed a lot of you guys had messaged me, either you've commented or you've messaged me privately saying that you also resonate with that statement. And I think that's really, really cool that our planners can bring us so much happiness. Um, that is why I plan. And it's also because I love, I love to plan like this. It's always made me very happy. And uh, it's just, it's cool that you guys kind of feel the same that I do, or a lot of you guys do at least. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my Tuesday morning. And then Yana came over in the evening. We ordered Indian food from Tasted Nirvana, which is such a good new place here. And, uh, we kind of honestly sat down, we chatted, we planned, we like, we chilled by the Christmas tree and it was such a good evening that it really kind of chilled me out and really helped with my anxiety. So Yana, if you're watching this, thank you for coming on Tuesday. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I really had a very good evening and I, it was something that I definitely, I think needed. Um, but yeah, anyways, Monday. So Monday I worked all day. Um, to say it was crazy would be an understatement. I think cause I, our shifts are long. They're at 11 to 7:30. They're very long, kind of eight and a half hour, eight hour shifts depending. And, uh, I was closing that day <laughs> and, oh, we also, we had a very cool thing. I forgot. Oh my gosh. I forgot about that. Um, how could I? So yeah, I worked pretty much all day. Well, no, I worked all day and I did not sit down. My break was definitely a working break, um, which is very rare. Usually when I take my break, I kind of sit in the back room because when you eat, you have to be mask off. I sit in the back room, but I was like taking a bite, running out, like washing my hands, dealing with customers, washing my hands again, taking another couple bites, washing, and was like caught my hands. Let me tell you when my, when I say my hands are like torn apart because I'm constantly sanitizing and washing. I prefer to wash my hands. I think that's a nursing school habit. Um, they always say washing your hands is way better than um, having to like use Purell. So I prefer to wash my hands and being in stage, it allows me to because you have the sink and the soap and it's great. And so yeah, so that was my pretty much my entire day. And then I got a phone call halfway through the day. Yana bought um, tickets to Journey to St. Santa, which is the coolest thing I think 
from like this entire quarantine is they created in the parking lot at the mall that I work and I had no idea until like I sent her this I was like by the way like this is great for the kids um they took over like a parking garage and we have some big parking structures and they created like a 10 or 12 room drive through and you from the beginning it's super interactive like you're on your phone and you click the room that you're going into and you have these questions that you have to answer based on that room and then you get scored at the end like did you save santa or didn't you save santa and it's so cool so she had said that she bought a big car's worth um which fits about eight people per i think it's per car and then she was going to take the kids and ask the things and i wanted to join them and i was all for it because i'm a good like i love me some christmas <laughs> And we can't do our normal Christmas markets. We can't do, we have this huge party every year we didn't get to do this year. And it just, it really kind of, it, it was exactly I think what I needed on that Monday. And I loved it. It was so fun. So we got to do that in that evening. Um, I grabbed tea and, pop, or tea and fresh chocolates for everybody. And then we just did our little journey to Santa in the car. We had masks on, did the whole thing because we had our windows down. And the kids loved it. And I had so much fun. So that was my Monday, and then I came home because I didn't get to eat. Really, I had brought myself a snack for um, a snack for like a snack that I could like, kind of like, eat at downtime. That ended up being my like breakfast and lunch, and uh, then I went home and just ordered myself some sushi. <laughs> um, we have a really cool sushi place that is new here, and their sushi is so good, like it comes warm still. So I really enjoyed it. So that was my Monday, not the most like crazy Monday, but so much fun. But man, work was busy. Um, people were definitely getting, and we're, so we were storefront pickup at the time. So we change over to curbside only on the 26th. So in two days, when I go back, I'm also working the 26th by myself. Um, it was a, it's a by myself kind of shift. So I'm hoping that's not too, too crazy. I'll let you know. Um, but yeah. And then, so yeah, Tuesday. So Tuesday I was off all day. Um, I wasn't, I was, yeah, I was supposed to be off Tuesday, Wednesday. I was supposed to work today, but I'm not. Um, and uh yeah so i pretty much listened to music on tuesday i listened to music i filmed the video um i tidied i kind of got tried to get myself in that christmas mood and just really chill out um and then yana came over but i did particularly like listen to a lot of christmas music i've been listening to christmas music since i woke up this morning too and pretty much most of yesterday also if you notice it's a little shaky i'm using a different tripod someone borrowed my tripod and it has not returned it in my home. So I have to go on a hunt later because I'm going to be also filming a haul to go up on Saturday. So I'm hope I'm kind of switching everything around this week. Um, I'm hoping that this video goes up on Thursday. That is my plan. I have enough time to get it up. And then I'm po hopefully putting my haul up on Saturday when this video would normally go up. I just, I wanted this up before Christmas. <laughs> so yeah. So as you can see, plan and dinner with Yana. Also, if you haven't noticed, I am doing a lot more writing in my spreads. Um, I really, really like it. So let's go through the stickers that I have. So the countdown stickers are from Letters to Apollo. The work sticker is from Planning Roses. By the way, I got my Planning Roses planner this morning. I'm going to throw that in my haul. I'm very excited. Um, my little overlay kind of behind the um, matte white block square thing um the little overlay is from the pretty pink co and then the little black uh like block design thing is block on the matte white the matte white sticker is from dash of sun designs the holly and the bow are also from dash of sun designs and the little bear with the foo fork and spoon is from paper bits co of course um, again, as always, all of my PR codes are going to be down in the description box below, so check those out. Um, I do PR for plan. Um, what do I PR for? <laughs> I have to think about that. Paper Bits Co., um, Simply Beautiful Plans, Dash of Sun Designs, and Wild Summer Designs. And yeah, so definitely check all those. I'll have all of those down below for you, and there are varying different percentages offering from 10 to 15%, and you can also get my freebie with all of them, which is very cool. Uh, so yeah, and then going up to Tuesday, again, the countdown is from Letters to Apollo. The Listen to Music is from Simply Beautiful Plans. The Christmas tree, by the way, the half Christmas tree, which for the half boxes, I love these. Pretty pink coat again. Um, and then the little matte white sticker design is from Dash of Sun Designs. That little half box um, Mandela doily holly thing is from Planning Roses. The bow is also from... Um, 
Dash of Sun Designs, and so is the divider. Uh, no, the, the divider is from the Pretty Pink Co. And then on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, I had scheduled my videos. I actually sat down. I didn't quite finish it, but I wanted to sit down and go through... Uh, what videos I want to do in January because I have a couple of different ideas now that school will be starting soon I wanted to open up my planning roses planner for you guys and do a mock spread in that but I also want to do how I'm going to plan in that planner because it's going to be kind of a mix of some sticker and mostly pen um but yeah so that is what I, I have that planned I have obviously another haul planned because not all of my Black Friday orders are in I have I think about five or so outstanding. They've already shipped. It's just the mail right now is crazy. So I wanted to do one big one now and then one in January. And that's also going to include my Aura style, my winter Aura style, which I will also get that set up going mid January. Um, I'm still waiting for my Tule and Twine order to come. Again, like mail here is insane. So that was my a Wednesday morning. I kind of sat down. Um, I did my drop off gifts, which is very cool. Um, yeah. And then so I went out with my mom and Rebecca, Rebecca is my brother's girlfriend. And I, we kind of did a day of like dropping off gifts. We had a bunch of stuff to drop off. We did it together. Again, she lives down the street with my brother. Um, so we did that pretty much. And I also picked up my pottery. So if you've been following me on Instagram, because I can't always plan because most of my planning is done. Do I write sideways this whole time? I'm sorry if I do, I'm a sideways writer and it's very hard for me to write straight on. So sometimes I tend to like turn my thing but there we go. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't do that. The, oh, I might. Oh no. Okay. Um, so we basically, yeah, we just kind of dropped that off. Um, oh yeah, my pottery. So I saw Amy from Simply Beautiful Plans. She had posted that she painted a gnome and I was like, where did you get that gnome? Like, that's so cute. And she said, crocodoodle. And I remember that my best friend for her, um, hen party because we're very chill people we did like apple picking crocodoodle um a thai restaurant like your favorite thai restaurant and then a couple of us went up to like niagara falls and uh <laughs> um i was like oh my god there's like a crocodoodle in the area i have like three around me so i was like that's such a great idea because i can't always plan because most of my planning is done on camera um that's why i'm getting another little planner i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do a pocket size or an A6 to kind of have like my, my like jot notes in it. And that's not going to be so like stickery. I, I keep saying I'm not going to memory plan, but this is kind of what this is planner is turned into is a memory planner, but I plan like week to week instead of doing it like back planning. I can't back plan. I'm very bad at that. Um, I just won't do it. <laughs> I just kind of just let it chill. Um, so yeah, so I, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So I figured I would give painting a try and oh my God, does painting pottery ever calm me down? So I painted two ornaments, a little penguin and a reindeer. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them. And I painted a Christmas mug, a Santa mug, and I painted them, drop them off on Sunday. Um, they have to cook them over a couple days, I guess. And then I picked it up on Wednesday and the girl who runs the one here is so lovely. So that I've kind of made that like my home pottery place and then I also picked up a little gnome because I want to do a Valentine's Day gnome so I'm going to paint a Valentine's Day gnome for my desk um newsflash I'm not a great painter <laughs> I am like a paint by oh something broke downstairs I'm like a paint by numbers kind of painter um but I actually had a lot of fun and I'm very very surprised as to how like my little guys turned out so I've enjoyed it I also have a hedgehog I'm painting a dog and I finished a little cupcake plate, which I posted on Instagram and it looks kind of hideous on Instagram, but it looks better. Someone is breaking stuff downstairs. <laughs> I can hear it. Yeah. Someone broke an ornament. I can, I can hear that too bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, that's kind of been really great for my anxiety. So for those of you who also said that you are very anxious this time of year, um, and planning isn't exactly working for you the way you need it to painting pottery, putting on like a music, like I watched Princess Diaries one and two while I was painting. Um, or like I have Nathan in the background who was talking to me at one point, or I had music going. It is so chill and it really helped me kind of streamline my brain. And I feel a lot better. I do use a lot of, um, whenever I do get very anxious, which isn't as, com as common as it was since like, I've got some really good coping mechanisms in place. Um, 
but I do, I do have some really good little coping strategies that I like to use and that have always worked for me. And if they don't, I kind of explore something a little different, which is painting and pottery. So I've got my little like basket here full of my pottery things and I don't just paint when I'm anxious or else I'd never <laughs> finish my thing because it's just, it's very situational. But I think just with like the onslaught of like Christmas and the mall and lockdown again and, you know, school, my semester, me going into my final semester and just the fact that it was my time of the month, it just all kind of, ex and that always exacerbates, like all that stuff exacerbates my anxiety. Um, I just, I need to find something different and man, was it great. <laughs> it's such a good thing. So yeah, highly suggest painting. Um, even if you're not good on it, it's such a, a good edit. It's such a good way to just kind of I don't know, let your brain do its thing. Anyways, back to the planner and the stickers. I feel like I just constantly derail. Um, I kind of, the way I plan this week, sometimes I'll do it day by day. This was kind of just like day by day and then I just kind of throw boxes in places where I know I have things. Um, again, today is Thursday, I am not working, so that got canceled. Um, and uh, yeah, so for my Thursday changes, Friday, Christmas dinner, pretty, pretty straightforward. And then Saturday, um, I was supposed to work with someone else, but I am now working on my own and which is fine. And then I am kind of just, I had some errands to do. I wanted to pick up Sephora. I wanted to do some boxing day buys. Um, but I guess I'm going to work the whole day and that's okay. It's just one day I'm off the Sunday anyways. And I'm actually going to see my grandmother on the Sunday, um, from afar. <laughs> So yeah, so let's go through the sticker. So work sticker again from Planning Roses. These full boxes from Letters to Apollo are like stunning. I love how specific and how detailed the little things are in these boxes, like the steam coming off of the cappuccino, the little snowflakes on the cinnamon buns, that candy cane in the bobble. I love it. It's so cute. Um, I have to say, I really do. I really enjoyed this kit and I think planning with it was so easy and so wonderful. Um, and then again, that little doily thing is actually from the Pretty pretty Pink Co. And again, the work sticker from Planning Roses. I am still working on the 26th. Um, and then I've got like my Sephora curbside. I want to pick up a couple of things during the sale. Some of my usuals are on sale um, or like I want to try some packs. Um, I have changed my entire skin routine. I was very fortunate that two of my, both my managers worked for Sephora and were very generous for my Christmas gifts. And I've got a bunch of Kate Somerville stuff I want to try because I've been, masks have been breaking me out. So I've changed up my skin routine. I wanted to kind of throw in a couple of different things. Um, and then, so I want to do that. <laughs> um, and then I do a little, I have to sticker sale because I want to pick up some stuff from Simply Beautiful Plans for Boxing Day, some Paper Bits Co. from Boxing Day. And I have a little list already starting. I thought Black Friday, my list was crazy. But like I didn't go too nuts on Black Friday compared to like what I normally would do, but I think Boxing Day might be it for me. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I am gonna try. My goal in 2021 is to kind of like minimize my buys. I have so many stickers that I need to start to go through, and I feel like I'm just piling it up. FOMO for me has never always hasn't always been a thing, but it has been lately, and I'm trying to just minimize that. So I think I want to really like kind of not go crazy and only stick to buying what I need or, um, like buying kits as I need instead of like over buying. Cause I had, I went through my, like my album and I had extra Christmas kits and I was just like, how does this happen? <laughs> how does this happen? But yeah, anyways, um, my little bear with candy canes is from uh, paper bits co. It says bring down gifts. I have most of them are under the tree. I still have like some, like my mom's stocking and the dog's gifts because they will get into them if I'm not careful. Those I have to bring down. These little hollies are from Dash of Sun Designs. That little matte sticker is also from Dash of Sun Designs with the little bear with baking, and that is from Paper Bits Co. The divider with the holly and the bell from the Pretty Pink Co. Uh, mm, pink. This is how I forget everything. Um, but yeah, so... Let's see. I have the Paper Bits Co. Bear there too. I have quite a bit. I am not going to mess this shop up because I don't know why I can't get my head together today, but that's okay. Let's see what else do I have in here. I'm not lying. So I was right. The Pretty Pinko. Why do I second guess myself all the time? I know the name of the shop. It's one of my favorites. By the way, also Canadian shop. Super great. Pretty Pinko. Highly recommend you try her. Her, um, oh. 
her uh, two dollar twosies are a really great way to try but she's got some gorgeous kits i have one on its way and i'm very very excited so definitely check out the pretty pinko um let's see this bow is from dash of sun designs and that let's uh that a blood sticker is from let's luminos i think i don't know if the shop is still around um that i grabbed a friend gave it to me i believe i can't remember um I think a friend gave it to me because she knew I was doing YouTube and she had it and she doesn't do it. So yeah, um, I think that's for the most part it. Let's see what else I put down here. Oh, baked dinner treats. Oh shoot, I have to do that today. I was gonna bake some cookies. I turned to bulk barn. Okay, so <laughs> oh my god, I was like I have stuff to do. I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some Christmas cookies. I actually made the Veggie Kins um, Levain Bakery cookies. It's it's a single batch, but I make like two smaller cookies. I think I mentioned this in my last video, and they're so good. I wanted to add a little bit of cinnamon. I also made gingerbread brownie, gluten-free vegan cookies. So tasty. Burnt a little bit at the bottom of some of them, but that's okay. It was just on a higher shelf, and I forgot to move it down. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited to cook. I love I love cookies. And I don't get them often because I am pretty kind of careful. Not careful. I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm, I got to fit into a wedding dress. So that's how I'm feeling about it. But I have been actually treating myself a lot more lately and I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, oh, I did want to pick up the Simply Beautiful Plans box, which is really great. But yeah so that is my plan and then sticker sale again i told you i wanted to grab a bunch of stuff the lazy day sticker is from letters to apollo and so is the day off sticker actually um i believe it's from the pr freebie i have a silver and a um non-foiled one which is kind of cool this little holly is from well the holly half circle is from planning roses and i love it i'm very excited i actually really like how this entire spread turned out i was like in my zone when i did this but yeah, so just popping on these numbers. These are leftover stickers from Dash of Sun Designs. And oh, I did want to say, so I'm going to be putting up my um, New Year's stuff, hopefully on time. Um, I'll, I'm will i going to edit it this week. I've actually laid down the base for it. I want to do kind of like a chatty plan with me as I go, but I did want my base down. I don't get to do a lot of like chatty in the moment as I plan videos. Um, but I will have some days where I'll be home for the most part by myself. So I actually have the ability to do it. So that is my plan for that video. So it won't be, you won't see me lay down my base. It's actually laid down, but you'll see me kind of lay down my boxes. And as things go along, I just wanted something a little different, I guess. Um, and just to chat with you guys about like new years and stuff, but yeah, so this is it. This is my spread. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas guys. I hope you stay safe. I am going to sign off here and kind of play some music for the rest of my spread. If I don't get to talk to you before the new year or I don't get to have a chat with you or you don't, you know, we don't connect before the new year. I hope you have a very safe, amazing beginning of 2021. And I hope that 2021 starts off the way that you want it to. Okay. So have a great one. Um, thank you. Like, and subscribe. I hope you join our little kind of silver antler family. I don't know. And I will talk to you very soon, guys. Merry Christmas.